The world is facing global warming. Scientists cannot agree to what extent it is caused by humans. They agree that the climate changes are affecting our societies. In order to slow down the process of our planet getting increasingly warmer, we must take actions now while we still can limit the consequences. Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Changes, IPCC, is a scientific body that has produced recent report on the climate changes on a global scale. The data and information they provide is helpful to gain a better understanding of how our societies will be affected. However, the reports have a broad scope when trying to explain climate changes in the whole world. Therefore, it will be more helpful to examine a more finite area, such as Norway. This interview will answer some questions in regards to what consequences people in Norway will face due to warmer climate, how they might choose to respond in order to adapt and to change their perspective, what are some of the benefits that come out of climate change. Can you give a brief introduction of the change in climate in Norway? Yeah, um, already now we can see the consequences of a warmer planet and also in Norway. One of the biggest problems in Norway, um, Norway will face is the climate increase in precipitation. This is a challenge we have started to see, but that will increase in the coming years. The IPCC, IPCC report put forth by working group number two states that areas in higher latitudes are more likely to experience an increase in water supply by between 10 to 40 percent. For Norway, this means that the increase in precipitation will affect the natural environment infrastructure and buildings. Um, the sea level is projected to rise with uh, 50 centimeters to a meter and the chances of severity and flood will thereby increase. Um, there will also be regional differences in Norway where the northern parts will experience uh, larger changes um, and especially uh, with milder winters. You say that the climate changes will affect the natural environment. In what ways will this have consequences for Norwegian primary industry? I know that especially fishing is an important segment of the Norwegian GDP. Yeah, uh, it's true. Uh, fishing, uh, fishing industry in Norway is very important. Um, it's in fact, Norway is, is the second largest exporter of fish in the world. Um, as of now, there's no common agreement of what the consequences will be, but the ocean has gotten a lot more acid with 1.1 on the uh, pH scale, uh, which is affecting the marine ecosystem. Um, what the experts can say for sure is that the warmer water will affect the growth a process of fish. Um, cod is for one example, um, which has been a lot of research, um, is one of the most vital fish species to the Norwegian fishing industry. Um, two of the conclusions that the cod population um, that research shows to is that it's likely to increase as there will be more plankton in the ocean and um, it's also likely to move east towards uh, Greenland. Um, also, there will be consequences for the Norwegian agriculture. Um, Norway is not as likely to experience the long and harsh droughts as the regions for the south, um, but implications include changes in the ecosystem. So, for example, insects can form more rapidly because of the warmer climate, and they can also survive over winter. Um, and these uh, effects might have destructive consequences for the crops. Um, also, a change in precipitation is probably um, what will have to cause the biggest consequences, and this might lead to, to illnesses for the crops, um, implications for the soil erosion, uh, which again will determine what types of crops can be produced in the future. Um, also, in addition, we uh, will see the changes in the mountain regions with a decrease in the glaciers. However, um, there are also positive outcomes of the uh, climate changes, such as the the longer growing season. So it is not all bad then. I assume the positive consequences will be outweighed by the negative ones. But what other positive outcomes can you mention? Um, well, again, it is a precipitation that would primarily play the main role. Um, actually, 99% of Norway's electric electrical energy comes from hydropower, so more precipitation would enable the country to produce more energy which again will lower the energy prices and allow Norway to sell more energy abroad. And um, figures are not sure, but they estimate that uh, an electrical company can increase in the, in, uh, the revenue by between one to three billion dollars annually, which is really good. Oh really? At least something positive can come out of it. To shift topic a little bit, what is the Norwegian government's planned response to this? Yeah, uh, actually, um, Norway has today one of the toughest climate goal plans um, in the world. 
and um, Minister of Environment um, Erik Solheim announced earlier this year that the Norwegian government has a goal of cutting CO2 emissions by 30 percent by 2020 um, and that's from the figures from 1990 um, and also the government has a, a goal of becoming carbon neutral by 2030 um, this is already done in cities like Arendal on the southern coast of Norway um, they're now climate neutral um, in, and as well as other cities in the world um, but to bring one example from Norway um, and some of the concrete measures they've taken in the city has been to um, they've built new buildings which are very energy efficient um, they have replaced fossil fuel heating with new bioenergy and they also give out incentives to drive electrical cars um, another example from Norway is uh, in Oslo, the capital, where they are in the process of changing out all the old buses to the new ones that run on biofuel. Uh, and also, in addition, they're also working on getting buses then, that run on, uh, on hydrogen. Well, that actually sounds very good. It is important that some places can serve as role models. Lastly, taking all the mentioned effect effects into consideration, how are the climate change going to affect the average Norwegian? Well, um, first I would like to point out that Norway is very fortunate in the sense that the country has the financial means to actually set a high standard for themselves in cutting CO2 emission um, and also restructure part of the society. Um, in addition, Norway is not as likely to face the equal brutality of the climate changes as in other regions in the world. Um, the Bangladesh Mega Delta region is um, one area that in particular will, will or might be hit hard if the sea levels rise. Um, that said, the personal consequences will be most apparent to those who can rely on primary or those who do rely on primary industry in terms of process of adjustments and um, possible outcome uh, or economic losses. Um, those who live in the, by the rivers um, or close to the ocean are also likely to um, experience floods. Um, in the cities, uh, people have to change from driving private cars to using public transportation and electric cars and um, that was also why a lot of the cities such as Oslo and, and Arendal they do focus on public transportation um, and as a way of changing mitigation people will have to adjust their private consumption um, so hopefully by raising awareness people can make thoughtful decisions because it is time to act now so we can decrease the CO2 level to 350 ppm or any level that can allow us to live on the planet in the future. Well, it seems like the climate change will affect our daily lives and our nation. Thank you very much for the information, Evan. You helped us a lot. Thank you very much.